what's going on reef builders i am jake adams and i was just uh, observing one of the coral flats here and noticing that these corals are just absolutely picking peaking they're peaking a lot of beautiful tanks around the studio i can't wait to do an updated studio tour um, but right now i just want to show you the juicy beautiful just absolutely thriving corals in the system i'm like i'm really surprised and i can't wait to show you so i'm gonna switch out the lens and the settings so we can get a really good look at these corals so just as a reminder this is one of three coral flats i have here at the reef builder studio it's uh, eight feet by four feet overall it's got a variety of corals uh, four radeon gen 4 pros i used to have the diffuser on all of them but i took them all off except for the last one so i still have kind of a diffused area here on this side um, just using a CJ Synchra, let's see, I think it's a seven, no, 9.0, uh, 2000 gallons per hour to drive the entire system and the water flow. So there's no other pumps. And then just a small Tunzi protein skimmer. I put a little bit of media in that bag once in a while. Um, and it's off right now for the video. So yeah, that's what's happening in this tank. All the dosing is just three channels of dosing plus auto top off from a float valve. And let's see what else. I do a little bit of manual dosing of trace elements, but what I really, really wanna show you is these corals because I was gone this weekend and I just came back and just noticed that uh, some of these corals are just absolutely insane with color. Let's check it out from the other side here. There's, there's a wide range of corals in here. Like that's actually kind of the, one of the really surprising things. We've got a grouping of scolies, alveopora, uh, some polyps and xenia in the back, some bubble corals in the corner, a lot of assorted encrusting corals there on the back wall. Um, lots of encrusters, favites, favia, goniastria, um, stylocene yellow, left, I mean, just all of them pretty much. So that's my low light sections there in the corners, as you can see. And, um, but in the middle, I've got a ton of SPS. Um, these are the ones that I picked out from Australia. Um, I got to see exactly where these corals came from. That was a experience of a lifetime. Um, but man, even just from here, look, look at this Milka stylo. Look how yellow those tips are, blue the polyps, pink on the base. Just absolutely incredible. So we're gonna take a little tour, a little walk around of this system, and I'm gonna show off some of the highlights. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. We're gonna start off here in this lower light corner. Uh, okay, so the other thing I wanna point out, there is no filter on the lens, and the lights are on white, right? So there's no camera trickery happening right now. Um, this is really what they look like. This is that crazy, weird, sort of gnarly sarcophyton toadstool leather coral, also from the Great Barrier Reef, might be a new species. Here is that beautiful uh, orange chalice coral that I picked up last weekend. And here's an Australian one, a couple more Australian one. Look at that color, you guys. It's just absolutely insane. And again, this is white lighting. Um, this, and you know what, I'm going to point out a couple of corals that were sent to me from Ocean Pets in Australia. These are really some, some jaw-dropping corals. This coral is dark inside with green stems and orange tips in white light. It looks, you know, it looks really nice, but under bluish light, it's like, it's really freaking crazy. And here's a cluster of uh, hammer corals, also from Ocean Pets. Uh, that they sent me out. We had the uh, kind of a peachy one right there, a really orange one here, kind of a jade green and then like a toxic green. So I had these all together at one point, but they were kind of uh, were kind of crowding each other out. So I glued them to the corners of their tile and they're still crowding each other out. So I think they're, they're done with the nursery time. Um, so those are promotion pets. All these, all these funky uh, kind of plating corals were also from motion pads. We had this beautiful Leptestrea, um, some Cyphostreas over there. I think that's also a green Leptestrea. And then, where's that guy? Oh, this orange, this orange 
cyphastra is ready to get cut up. It almost looks like a heart, sort of like the shape of Australia, but it is so orange, you guys. I'm gonna say it many times throughout this video, this is under white lighting. And what was another coral that they sent me? This one right here, this one was super psycho. This is, I think this is a hybrid uh, torch coral because it's like kind of lime green with, I don't know, I guess a little frog spawn in its DNA. Who knows, but it's, uh, it's really an unusual coral. So that was another one, a really cool one from Ocean Pets. And then, what else? Oh, these pink alveopores. This is one coral, you know, it looks a little, um, muddy on the on the camera but these are pink this is the white light spectrum let's say it again um, these alveopores have really done super well for me and so these are, are they're called a, a flower pot coral but they're totally unrelated to the typical flower pot coral the goniopores so those were for motion pets and then most of these scolies were also for motion pets um, just some beautiful, beautiful specimen. This guy um, had a little bit of damage and he started bleaching a little bit, but he's already recovering. Um, so that was another one and another one and another one. So that was super cool. Very big shout out to Ocean Pets for sharing in their uh, collecting uh, bounty, I guess. Oh my goodness, look at all these corals. Um, let's take another look at that scoly corner. Oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful cluster. There's a little bit of uh, uh, Bauer Banky here, and that's a Bauer Banky piece as well. These are two pieces I recently got from Eye Catching Coral. This one's got a little orange stripe. Oh my goodness, super excited about it. And this one's just a big, abstract looking jumbo guy. Ooh, look at that. We've got the, a pair of the biota mandarins just cruising together. There's the female and there's the male. These things grew so fast. They came in small, but they outgrew my mollies, which was really, really quite surprising. Come on, man, get in focus. There he is. Hey, little guy. Not so little guy. Um, because this tank is big, I throw in a lot of flake. I don't know if they eat it, but they have a lot of pods to work with. Um, what else? Couple of chalice corals. Let's take a look at the SPS because there is some craziness happening here. So here's actually a variety of Montiporas that are kind of overdue for going into the uh, Monopora tank. This is the uh, Monopora undata right here. It's starting to develop a much more defined edge and it should develop a lot of nodules and even in time some branches, but that's kind of rare in captivity. Here's the uh, Jedi Mind Trick. I think I got that one from Chris Cap, And then a couple other gnarly ones. I think this is a Confusa. I got that from Live Aquaria, I believe. And then this is a really, really nice one with the green edge. I gotta get it settled in. All right, so let's take a look at these acros here. These are all Australian acros. And there's a variety of them that just really just go nuts look nuts under blue light, especially that one. That one's just like a fireworks display of, of fluorescent colors and polyps and tips. Um, this is a pink vermiculata with kind of red polyps. And there's another one right here. Just super crazy corals. Um, this spathulata is doing very well. These are all, again, all acros. And then this is a sleeper right here. This is gonna be a yellow vermiculata. Again, this is white light, so they're a little bit washed out. Um, but this yellow tenuous and this yellow vermiculata, I am definitely keeping an eye on them. Um, what else do we have in here? This is actually the coral that made me pull out the camera. This Australian hoax I looks absolutely just incredible. Just absolutely insane. It is really starting to catch up to the color uh, that it was when it was collected and then maybe even exceed it. So it's got that teal turquoise color all on the body and all of the axial tip are just busting out and just purple. And you can see that thing is uh, super shaggy. So that's an Acropora hoaxamai. Um, really cool one. Let's take a look again at the other side and see what we have over here. So again, there's um, 
a selection of uh, moon corals, just kind of hanging out over there. A couple of goniastrias that were sent to me from Ocean Pets. This kind of came in with a stinky bag and um, I had to remove some dead sponge on the bottom, but it was rainbow color when it came in. So it's gonna be a while before it is back to normal. Um, a couple soft corals. This is one from Tonga that I got through Live Aquaria. And this is one, again, from the Great Barrier Reef. No different than the neon grains you'd probably see from Palau, but um, just kind of cool to know where it was collected. And uh, here we are, a bunch of variety of encrusters, some Cyphastria, Pavona, what is that, Favia, Favites. Yeah, and some really, really cool stream. Again, this is the white light. So you can imagine how much I wig out on this with blue light at night, put some glasses on and uh, have fun. Yeah, these are some, I, I'm not even sure if that's a Maxima or a Lord yet, but it's just solid orange. And this one's got that mustard yellow orange color going on. A little rainbow Lord. I, again, I'm super surprised I'm able to keep all these corals happy together. Ooh, here's another super notable coral. Um, oh man, I forgot which, who this one came from, but this one is like a lavender branching parietes. Just, it's really, really coming around. Sorry, not parietes, a lavender branching goniopora. Goniopora, super neat. This is one of those Gardnoceras that I cut up on the fragging video when I was first showing off my saw. That is coming around real nice. Orange actual acan. Acan uh, rotundiflora and Acan pachycepta. Here's that uh, Milka stylo up close. I do apologize for some of the bubbles on the surface. This is a super big Acan echinata that I got from Tropical Pet Oasis, a store here in Denver. It was a trade-in and I'm like, oh man, I want to work on that. It's mostly uh, pistachio green but it's got these splashes of orange. I'm sure it was collected with a lot more orange. So I'm hoping that fragging it out really uh, aggressively, because it's a like basketball sized piece almost. Um, I'm hoping that fragging it aggressively is gonna encourage a lot more of that pink color to come out. And uh, you know, of course I've got a couple Millies in the works, some Walt Disney hanging out on some tiles. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of fun here. These are all gonna be slated for the 400 gallon tank. Um, I, it's nice to show you these corals in white light, especially that hoax am I. Look at that thing. Look at that. Just absolutely insane. But I hope to show you these corals again um, under some bluer light so you can see a little bit more of the fine detail of these corals here. Um, here's my strawberry shortcake. Really nice colony. Just really keeping that wild color. So I'm surprised everything's going so well because I only have one pump. Um, okay, just a couple more neato corals. Here's a couple pieces of branching Echinopora. This is branching Echinopora from Australia. So it has light purple corallites. And this is a branching Echinopora herida from the Solomon Islands. And it's, it's, you know, it's like a light blue gray. It doesn't have any color potential. And I did see one of my gold tip elegances had just died. And um, it's just a freak occurrence. I am not gonna freak out and test everything. I'm gonna take him out, but I did leave him in uh, just to show you that, you know, when you have this many happy, healthy corals and you have a freak death, you don't, don't overreact. All right, uh, fox coral, a nice green cat's eye. This is a really just sensational uh, bubble that I accidentally bleached. I think I showed you guys on some previous videos. It was getting hit by sun and I didn't know it. Um, so that's coming around. It's gonna be dark with green stripe to the cat's eye. That's gonna be super duper fun. And this, this is a yellow Cinerina. Not a pink, not an orange, not a green, a yellow. Uh, so under blue light, that thing is really, really crazy. And last but not least, a couple trays to catch loose coral that Xenia is having too much fun in there. Um, I've got some branches of that funky leather that are just like auto fragging and then just a few red shrooms. And then we actually pulled out most of that giant pipe organ that was uh, in the Red Sea tank uh, a little while back. So there it is, you guys. There's the uh, entire coral tank. 
I hope you enjoyed this tour of this particular aquarium because there's some sensational corals in here that have yet to be distributed out there. And uh, you know, if this video is really, really well received with a lot of likes, um, I will be sure to show you this one right here as well that is uh, mostly acros. Mostly acros in here, you can't really see because of all the flow. But if you guys really like it, we're gonna do another one. So thank you for joining me while I show off some of these super happy, healthy corals, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.